from Charleston, South Carolina, it's P.P. Dubolinski. Getting a little perturbed here at this so-called running game. We ain't running the ball. I want something done. Last year you had old guys on the line. What is it this year, huh? Bunch of young guys can't tell the love. Don't know what they're doing, huh? Well, they better stop knowing. I want something done. Tell you this much, if we ain't running the ball with efficiency, with acuity, in the regular season, it's going to be a long season. Oh, yeah. I've had enough of this crap not being able to run the football like a regular damn team. You've got to be shagbag. Like that Krieger said, who was Jekyll and Hyde over there at the post. One minute he says getting rid of Brandon Marshall was a mistake, which is a joke. The other minute he has something intelligent to say. What is that, Justin Vargas, huh? Is that Justin Vargas? Forget how to find the holes, huh? This not finding the holes nonsense is a load of crap. Take that logic, put it in a paper bag, and throw it in the woods. Throw it in the woods. It sucks. It don't smell right. We ain't making holes. That offensive line ain't making holes. And I want something done. I want fires lit on their asses. The preseason, but you make your habits in the preseason. And this ain't a good one. Damn straight. Now Robert is said, hey. Shut up! Shut up in there! And don't touch that TiVo! I got a trifecta in the fifth race, and it damn well better be on when I put it on! You keep it down in there! I'm trying to make a point here! That Robin Ayers didn't play too badly. Once in a while. I think he's got ability. I think he's got agility. I think he's got acuity. And I think he's going to get somewhere around 12 sacks this year. 16 game season, I think he can do it with that, with that bull rush move. We need him to step up big. But we better stop running that damn football. Getting concerned about this. With all these freaking injuries. This rash of injuries. We better stop running that football. Got an email here that I've been meaning to get to. It's from Jeremy, Jeremy G, out in Boulder, Colorado. He's 14 years old. And he writes, PP, my father took away my Xbox 360. I am very upset about this. I heard that you're a guy that can get things done. Can you do something to get my Xbox 360 back? Jeremy G out of Boulder. I'm going to take a guess here, Jeremy. That your old man, that your old man is hiding that Xbox and playing it himself late at night. And if he ain't doing that, then he's probably an old fart. An old fart who doesn't understand the worth of these video games. These video games are trading the youth of America. 
training them to reload, aim, and fire at the enemy. Training them to respect their Second Amendment God-given right. You got these lunatic scientists out there going rogue, starting to clone people. What's going to happen with all of these insane, arrogant scientists start cloning a bunch of shimmerers? What are you going to do when the zombie hordes come knocking, huh? Kids like Jeremy that are getting a good training and the safety of their homes. Learning to wield a shotgun and rifles and AR-15s. Kids like Jeremy that are getting valuable training. You hand them a shotgun at the breakdown of society and they'll know what the hell to do with it. Leave the video games alone. Did you ever hear of hand-eye coordination, huh? These kids are learning hand-eye coordination. Myself, I've got about 16 different guns and ammunition the last four months, and a water tank the size of Niagara Falls in my damn basement. I will be prepared, and I ain't no easy win. I ain't no easy win, and that's for damn sure. You leave this kid's video games alone. So this guy down at the food lion. He says, I don't like guns. I don't own any guns. I don't even have a shotgun. I said, you've got to be fucking kidding me. What are you going to do? How are you going to protect the home when the zombie hordes come knocking, huh? That's the breakdown of society. What are you going to do? And he ran right out, and he bought a shotgun because of me, because of what I told him. These arrogant scientists going rogue, cloning and cloning shimmerers. You don't know what a shimmerer is. Look it up. It ain't pretty. So, Jeremy, I want you to tell your father all this. And if he don't come around, Email me back, and I'll give you my cell phone number. And I will come up there, be it hell or high water, Hurricane PP will come cruising up there by way of a heavy cuter, and I'll grab that old man, roll him out into the street, and beat his ass. Right in front of the neighbors. How's he gonna like that one, huh? And all he'll remember that one. With all the neighbors watching. He is an accomplice in removing valuable training from this Jeremy kid, and it's a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. And you politicians out there, you want the youth vote, huh? And leave the video games alone. Unbelievable.